CMV, the healthy at any size movement is just the USA giving up on ever ending the obesity epidemic. My approach to help me get healthier was really people in my family not treating me any different BC of my size, just as a human and it takes away the pressure of having to lose weight and instead perusing health and weight loss being a symptom but unfortunately 99% of people's experiences are not the same. Remove. I think it s a step in the right direction. Weight loss shouldn't t be everyone s goal. It shouldn't t even be every fat person s goal. There are ways to improve health and body composition that aren't t just dieting. I think that this new mantra further embraces that. IDK why people get in such a twist over the healthy at every size movement. To my understanding it's not even that popular, I've never seen it outside of outraged reddit comments, and the idea is more that no matter your current weight, you can do things that make you healthier. Not that obesity is healthy. Remove. Health at any size is a harm reduction approach. If people avoid going to the doctor or engaging in health related activities because of stigma due to their weight, it's actually more detrimental to their health than accepting their current weight and looking to find other ways of improving their health. Remove. Healthy at any size is probably sponsored by food companies. Delete it. It's not giving up on some endemic. It's caving into an industry which draws its profits from unhealthy, near-addictive, sugary, fatty food. Remove. A lot of these campaigns are sponsored by the companies who make snacks, soda, fast food. They are the ones winning this movement, not those who are overweight. Remove. A really nice lady who lived next door died at 42 from cardiac arrest in November. I loved her dearly, but she was morbidly obese. I don't care what people say, I can't justify it. Lose weight, your life depends on it. What evidence do you have that the healthy at any size movement has any popular support, and where? How do you see the U.S. government endorsing it? We are going to find out that it was a cigarette climate change level ploy by the refined sugar and bread industries. I'd be curious to see any major trends actually saying that you can be morbidly obese and be considered healthy. I think you're probably confusing, being overweight does not inherently make you unhealthy, with saying that any size is healthy. I've seen some pretty toxic groups in the IDK movement. People who criticize others when they lose weight or are trying to. Obvious you should accept yourself and deserve to be happy. But there's nothing wrong with trying to improve yourself. How can anyone even argue against this? Change my view my ass, edit, there's some amazing persuasive writing here. I didn't even think this was even defensible. You guys are amazing at mind flocking, being full of shit. Healthy at any size, is more about making the consuming and mass production of heavily processed foods. The amount of nutrients in our food has dropped considerably since the 50s. Nah, it was true in the past and it is true now just because someone is fat don't mean they cannot be healthy too. Take a lesson from Butterbean. Obesity is not an exclusive to the US. It appears to be a side effect of economic prosperity. I can change your view. The body positivity movement isn't what you think. Instead, it's a campaign funded by the sugar and food industry in order to normalize unhealthy weights from their unhealthy foods. It's not about giving up, it's about selling out to corporate interests, as usual. Delete it. Remove. It reached such critical mass that advertisers realized purely aspirational advertising was leaving money on the table. They're all just selling you something. No one's giving up. They're just monetizing it further. Fat people need to man up and do some exercise is all I am saying. It's the reality. Either cry at it or get better. Remove. Remove. I used to think this too until I spectated the Ironman race. There was every kind of body type imaginable and they were all doing equally well at the triathlon. I think the movement is being used by capitalist society to keep fast food unhealthy and infrastructure not conducive to being healthy. I don't think the health at any size movement is the problem. It's a band-aid solution for what we need to seriously do to reduce obesity. I disagree. I think fatty should be mocked. Remove. Remove. Mm, I don't think anyone is saying healthy at any size. They're saying you can't always tell someone's health by looking at them. Also I think it's an emphasis on there being different body types. But I've never heard anyone claim that you can be healthy at any size. Delete it. 1. Overweight people with a condition that made them like that should be respected. Point 2. Overweight people with no psychological, physical nor biological disability should not be respected nor trusted. They are after all killing themselves and destroying the only body they have in life. You can't respect anyone that does that. Remove. 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 I have never in my life seen someone saying they are healthy at any size. Only people online complaining about people who say that. No country has ever reduced its overall percentage of obesity outside of famine. Giving up? I'll go with maliciously driving up average healthcare costs per capita. A largely, hey, fringe movement doesn't reflect the USA as a whole.